only unbeaten team remaining in the competition uh, to win uh, this uh, trophy. Well, the two teams are uh, just uh, marching their way to the field. Tension and uh, these two teams, uh, Ulinzi Stars. Uh, but Salim Ali being warned by Tabitha Mwamboy from uh, not so bad performance. Quite an incentive to these young men who have to be the scene. It's an opportunity there, but uh, good goalkeeping by Isaiah. Marcus. And Mweni, with an opportunity, can he just hook it? No flag. Not good enough, but that's a great, great first touch from Steven Mweni. Play here. And homeboys are just looking to settle. They have their own brand of uh, tiki taka, as you've been seeing uh, right from the inception of the tournament. Long ball from Suga trying to release Mweni once again. But uh, Kibwage will be wiser to the threat posed by the Olympic oh, frontman. Let's go to the Sunga once again with a poor cross uh, and easily cleared away by Kibwage. Which is just looking to settle. This could get settled. Kibwage at the back. Looking to his options. Good support coming in from uh, back, already up from uh, the second assistant referee. Yeah, one. Well, I think it was for offside because that. Dulin to take their free kick, put away by Kipuage. Dulin to take their free kick, put away by Kipuage. Dulin to take their free kick, put away by Kipuage. Dulin to take their free kick, put away by Kipuage. Dulin to take their free kick, put away by Kipuage. That in a final, you have to be able to have the mental composure to try come back. Wangi once again looking to beat his man. Wangi does well. Well up front. Mweni, Mweni battling it with Kibwage. Lose. Letting uh, homeboys drift into the area and actually play in the area is a... Uh... So Lindsay with the corner. They've got the big boys in the box. Tabitha just uh, talking to the young man. I want no nonsense in the box. So let's behave. To be brave, comes out, grabs it, end of play. Unfortunately, hurting himself in the process. Olizia. When you on the run. Pressure, Mwangi, Mwangi shielding well, but uh, just being dispossessed by far. The whole Lens defense has stood far more game. Haven't looked panic or threat. Uh, it's been brought to you by is the hill with the toast of the Nakuru area. But the homeboys, uh, do they have the fight in them? Maraj Ominde. Interesting, uh, Arnold, that uh, Ominde in the jersey number six, and now with the ball for Olins, for homeboys, will be joining the Olympic Stars uh, next year. But uh, Shambi with an excellent tackle there up front. It's Mwangi losing possession. Time it's uh, Wanyama looking for his options. But uh, Shambi with an excellent tackle there up front. It's Mwangi losing possession. Time it's uh, Wanyama looking for his options. Morning. Just this afternoon, we've already crossed the noon mark. But uh, interesting, Arnold, that he didn't start. I don't know what uh, coach has that training. It doesn't happen by accident, Arnold. Set pieces, you work them well, well, you get the difference. Yeah, in the training ground is one of the things you should do over and over. Many coaches devote about 30 minutes a game, a training session, especially towards a game, to uh, set piece routines. And of course, how about this being a final? Should the game end in a draw of any sort because of the pitch conditions? It's a bit muddy out there. And so tackles are a bit harder to make. And a 49 possession, evenly balanced game, and all that. Then to end, Lindsay with the sole goal from Moses Mwangi. And the homeboys are struggling just to come to terms, are struggling to get their game going. The smooth thread post from that left flank by the homeboys. Yeah, and especially uh, trying to get it wide to Mweni. Mweni does the chase, loves putting the bat four under pressure this time battling with, with Mikey Buage and in the end uh, he gives away a foul and it'll be a homeboy's freak he smiles shakes his head <laughs> doesn't understand why uh, he did I mean it was almost a judoka style foul but good persistence by the striker you definitely like to see an industry trying to get it wide to Mweni when he does the chase loves putting the bat four under pressure this time battling with, with Mikey Buage and in the end, uh, he gives away a foul. 
<laughs> to be a homeboy. It's freaky. He smiles, shakes his head. <laughs> Doesn't understand why. Uh, he did. I mean, it was almost a judoka style foul. But good persistence by the striker. You definitely like to see an industrial. Trying to get it wide to Mweni. When he does the chase, loves putting the back four under pressure. This time battling it with Mikey Buage. And in the end, uh, he gives away a foul. And it'd be a homeboy. It's freaky. He smiles, shakes his head. <laughs> Doesn't understand why. Uh, he did. I mean, it was almost a judoka style foul. But good persistence by the striker. You definitely like to see an industrial. Onyama. Back, they're back. Players just hugging the coach because of that equalizer. Well, well, well. Needs to be a lot of rejigging now. The chase is on from that right flank. Cedric, but uh, being beaten to the ball. Some. Kibwage, long ball. To extra time, extra fun. And that's just not a test of a skill, but also of stamina and mental strength. Well, you got a sense of spring in this Kakamega homeboy side. Yes, possibly will. Uh, sorry. Ali with a poor shot there. Maybe he was looking to get a pass to a chain. Kateka Muhoroni, the third quarter final of the KPL Top 8 tournament before defending champions Gorma here. Take on Ushuru. Which Gilbert Celebo are giving final instructions. I think uh, the message will be clear. We are up a man. We've come back from a goal down. We've weathered a terrible storm because at some point Lindsay was complete nonetheless. Set piece by Kakamega. They need to be creative because they've wasted a lot of set pieces. There haven't hasn't been anything impressive uh, from the dead ball situation by the home. And that last one just uh, summarizes. What the freaking taking has been like, it's been poor nonetheless. Set piece by Kakamega. They need to be creative because they've wasted a lot of set pieces. There haven't, hasn't been anything impressive uh, from the dead ball situation by the home. And that last one just uh, summarizes. What the freaking taking has been like, it's been poor. Everybody's playing for each other. Okay, up front. So when he dropping more into midfield. As Shambi has dropped into the back four, so you can see a bit of tactical uh, reorientation uh, by the Ulinzi Stars. When he's doing the extra yards here, running, battling here with Kibwagi at the back, picked up by Bakari Joe. There for homeboys. Maina. Tieno. This gives it to Wanyama. Wanyama to Kibwagi. Kibwagi just uh, playing it long. Counter. Something that uh, Kakamega homeboys have struggled to do the whole. It's courtesy of penalties, so you can see clearly that the Kakamega homeboys side, they are used to uh, winning games. Not a lot. I think it's, ab it's, it's about control. If they are able to control the pace and also the tactic. Uh, it's been a beautiful goal, had it been a goal. Well, good play by Madare, trying to open up the flanks. And again, a vital lesson to the defenders. You play to the whistle. <laughs> you might think there was someone offside, Jacob, but uh, the referee thought he wasn't interfering with play. Look at the celebration here. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know you call the bragging rights in the celebration when you score the goal, eh? Well, the youngsters have done it. What a celebration. But uh, look at how is just control it uh, so that they can be able to last the entire 90 minutes. And even involving himself in a tackle of oh, Madara United to see every time what the youngster is going to do with the ball and uh, the honest truth is that his touches are very very lethal touches this one sent out of field of play by john uh, by um, and seriously they should have buried this one i think the angling is just what was the problem uh, the Madari united side just not well, experience is all that uh, Ryan Ashiono doesn't have in front of goal. Of this match for the Madari United side, they might just want to go on a full out attack. Uh, the occasions a good run from John Wangi. It's going to be a throw in for Madari United. 
If you were the coach, what would you have told the two sides at halftime, Jacob? Drops it again into the midfield. Mumani is uh, running for it. Uh, goes down a little bit too easily. That's a better way to boys. Uh, Oh, this is a marvel to watch Kisilu. I tell you, he doesn't even get involved in the corner because he knows it.